going to develop the application of the triad approach based on three basic frames of aesthetic principles to the book of the novel by Samuel Butler Ergon. The analysis will portray situational elements of the contextual framework, then the analysis carries on the particulars of the structure and language used by Butler and some of the figure of speech, linguistic device and rhetorical terms found in the text in the linguistic framework. Finally, by means of the semantic framework, a brief meta-reading of the text presents the intertextual style and denotation and connotation patterns present in, this, in the book to grasp the main aims of the text. In doing so, I will make explicit some innuendos introduced by Butler. Now let's start with the contextual frame. Samuel Butler, an iconoclastic Victorian era English author, novelist, and writer. But first of all, is it necessary? At the outset, to remember that our author Samuel Butler is different from the Samuel Butler of the 7th century, 17th century England, who is the author of Hudibras. Samuel Butler, who is the author of Erehun, was born in 1835 and educated in John's College, Cambridge. He spent some of his early years in New Zealand, which experience he used in creating the local color in Erehon. He started painting and exhibit at the Royal Academic Academy. Sorry. He died in 1902. His Erehon was published in 1872. Erehon was it was published nearly 30 years later in 1901. The Way of All, Fl All Flesh came out in 1903. His Italian journeys led to the publication of Alps and Sanctuaries on his notebacks, a selection, a selection from his manuscripts were posthumously published. It is on these works and Butler's frame rest. Eregon is also the name of a country supposedly discovered by the protagonist. In the novel, it is not revealed in which part of the world Eregon is, but it is clear that it is a fictional country. Butler meant the title to be read as the word nowhere but words, even though the letters H and, and W are transposed, therefore Eregon is an, is an anagram of nowhere. It is likely that he died this to protect himself from an accusation of being a patriotic. Although Ergon is a satyr, satyr of Victorian society, the first few chapters of the novel dealing with the discovery of Ergon are in fact based on Butler's own experience in New Zealand, where as a young man he worked as a sheep farmer for about four years and explored part of the inter interior of the South Island, one of the country's largest ship stations located near where, ba where Butler lived. His name is in, in his honor. Let's move to the literary movement. The Victorian movement really comprised the years from 1930 to 19, and it is just literature writing during the reign of Queen Victoria in Great Britain. So, Queen Victoria reigned from 1837 to 1901. On the other hand, Victorian writers tend to be the allies for traits of difficult life in which our perseverance, love, and life win out in the end. Beauty will be rewarded and wonder are suitable points. They had a mission to describe and classify the entire world, the entire natural world. As also the, the naturalists when we read the Darwin's theory. A school of thought. Some of Below belonged to no school of thought, although he followed Darwin's theory. On the other hand, Butler was who brought a new tone into Victorian literature and began a long tradition on New Zealand, Ethiopian, dystopian, dystopian literature.
He is well known for examining increasing orthodoxy, substantive study of evolutionary thought, a study of Italian art, and works of literature history and criticism. A serious but um, amateur students of the subjects he undertook, especially religious orthodoxy and evolutionary thought. His controversial assertions effectively shut him out from both of the opposing factions of church and science which played such a large role in late Victorian cultural, cultural life. So, literary gender, gender. It is a satiric novel of the Victorian society because Seymour made a constructive social criticism of the, Victor of the British society. Pergon satirized various, various aspects of Victorian society, including criminal punishment, religion, and anthropocentrism. For example, according to Argonian law, offenders are treated as if they were ill, whereas ill people are looked upon as criminals. Another feature of Ergon is the absence of machines. It is due to the widely shared perception by the Ergonian that they are potentially dangerous. This last aspect of Ergon reveals the influence of Charles Darwin's evolution theory. Social cultural context. Some major events that took place during the Victorian era include the improvement in technology of the Victorian era slightly overlaps with British Industrial Revolution, which saw big changes the way that people live, work, and travel. In this improvement in technology offered a lot of opportunities for the people in England but also represents the major upheaval in regards to how people live their life and interact with the world. Another characteristic of Victorian era are changing worldviews. In addition uh, to the major developments in technology, there were emerging, emerging scientific beliefs like Charles Darwin's theory of evolution and those things were changing how people in England thought about themselves and how they interact with the world around them. Most notable, a lot of people were dis distancing themselves from the church. Religious context. The Puritanians, it is a religious reform movement that thought the purify of church of England of remains of the Roman Catholic popery that the Britons claim had been retained after the religious settlement reaches uh, early in the reign of Queen Elizabeth I. With the, chamber. the book has the satire when Butler refers fairly early in his book to the extraordinary perversions of thought which is cited among Eregonians. We recognize his satirical intention when he says, The Eregonians hold that a knowledge virtue is not a thing to be and modernity indulged in. It was shown more than one case in which the real or supposed virtues our parents were visited upon the children to the third and fourth generation. This situation uh, we can find in the page one, 100 seven at the beginning of the second paragraph. The tone of voice of his satire is made clear with the sentences like this. On the other hand, Butler's satirical approach cannot be better illustrated than by quoting his comments on his man mandate. So let's see the book. We should take into account that there are many satirical figures because it is a satirical novel. Finally, the last one, a uh, figure of a speech that I found in the book is rhetorical question. On his meaning, I have no conception. How could I? Uh, it is in the page 24 at the beginning of the first paragraph. The semantic framework. Some of what we have said. I didn't not want to write Ergon, I wanted to go and paint him and find it an abominable sense being rendered willingly into writing it.
Eregum Dacis for excellent the book that is writing in spite of the author. As Butler put it, the books came and said they were to be writing, a grumble a little and worrying them. He's strong enough as a reader to feel that Eregum presents itself on him with more force than he can resist and the book compels the reader to read it almost in spite of himself and he has, has also no reason to ramble about it either. I really found this book very interesting, not the old book itself but each each chapter catch you in the way that you don't want to stop reading because what what one finds in Butler the satirist is not so much as passionate anger which spread and films, rapes and runs, but the deceptively divide and apparently an offending and music hybrid. A part of char of everything consists in it is breaking the bubble of Victorian com complacency complacency. But plus partially for clear sense of the sharp flower for wit are the hallmark of his writing. Butler's achievement lies not merely in holding a mirror up to nature, but it is in his death worthy constructive intention in making man look at himself in all honesty as he really is so that the man sees to be one he should not be. This, however, does not make his work closely didactic, but the gross man is burnt away of all his mental opportunity through the best medicine, honest to goodness love.